Hello everyone and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Last time, uh, we started setting up a base over in, uh, over in the dunes. And off camera, I've started gathering resources to continue that process. And uh, unfortunately, I uh, do not have much in that regard. Uh, I've managed to gain 10 more stone uh, foundations. Running a little low on supplies. Uh, I've managed to get a whole ton of iron, or metal, whatever you want to call it, which uh, we are going to use today, I hope, uh, to uh, build ourselves uh, a wind turbine. So we can bring one over there, hopefully this episode. So what we're going to do is we need to make a whole bunch of electronics, first and foremost. And I need some more cementing paste, right? So I need just a tad more cementing paste. And I believe I have plenty of supplies for that over at the uh, mortar and pestle. I just need to set it up have it go and that'll be that so let's see here so I just need two more really and I guess I already had the supplies so I can keep that stone for uh, for uh, building foundations so two more cementing paste I also looked up our greenhouse uh, ingredients, and uh, they cost iron as well, or metal as well. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain to do that, but that's fine. Uh, it's upstairs. All right, so let's go ahead and how many electronics do I have? Zero. Right? Structures, electrical, zero. So I need to make 25. One, two, three, four. Hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, I'm losing count all over the place. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, structures, electrical, wind turbine. Turn off. Boom. Now we have a wind turbine. That is not the, uh, the thing I wanted to hit. So, we have a wind turbine. We can go bring this over to the base now and set her up. It's pretty great. It should help us a ton. Oh, a moth egg. Okay, hold on. Let me drop off this egg. go. Four moth eggs. Then I'm going to get some water. Uh, hello? Would you like to land, Tally? There we go. Thank you. Alright, now let's head out.
All right, so we're gonna go set up a windmill today, and that's pretty much gonna be the extent of that. Uh, I also found out off camera while trying to gather wood for building foundations that these trees up here, with full of like spikes and like hairy, spiky looking uh, trees, uh, they drop sap, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't know that I need sap for anything right now, but it's good to know that there is uh, an easy means for me to get some pretty close to home. So that's pretty nice. So it's early morning here, so we'll have the sun at our back, snow glaring, uh, rays in our face, at least not until the way back. Uh, and I've realized that my setup for the greenhouse uh, being attached directly to my home may not be the ideal setup. Uh, I think the greenhouse has to be surrounded by greenhouse pieces on all sides. So if one of those sides shares its uh, wall with my home, I kind of want my home to be insulated well enough, so I kind of want it to be out of a better material than, well, I guess greenhouse material is kind of the whole point, isn't it? Well, I was thinking one side would be made of, one side of the greenhouse would be made of stone, but I guess one side of my house can be made of glass. Originally, my plan was to, well, before I started talking about it, my uh, plan was to uh, put a foundation between the two buildings and then have uh, like a just a hallway from one building to the other. Kind of have two five by five structures with a, uh, a one by one hallway between the two then have like a door frame on each side to go into each building stone walls up the sides and a stone ceiling I kind of want to do it for aesthetic reasons but at the same time I realize that that just adds more materials to the list and that just means it's gonna take longer which kind of sucks especially considering how long it's taken right now. Uh, I'm not sure how much off-camera work I'll actually be able to put into this project and actually make significant dents. So, especially with my recording schedule, uh, plus other series that require off-camera work, plus daily life. So chances are we're gonna end up doing a little bit of the grunt work on camera uh, towards this project, but uh, It'll show you guys how uh, how much of an investment it really is. So at least you'll get a realistic feel for what kind of uh, undertaking this might be, which I'm realizing isn't exactly a selling point. But you know, take what you, what you can get, I suppose. And for me, that is settling with uh, having to record some of the grunt work which is probably what's going to fill out the end of this episode after we've uh, set the wind turbine up, honestly. Probably just going to collect metal on my way back home. Metal, crystal, and whatever stone I can get at the same time. I need a lot of crystal and a lot of metal for the greenhouse, so uh, fortunately both of those produce stone as a byproduct, which can help me finish the remaining foundations and eventually the walls to my home so that's good oh man there's a dragon on that mountain Whew. that's scary okay terror birds are here I don't really want to mess with them let's just avoid them I need to gain some altitude. <sighs> I can't help but look down every single time we come over here, because man, that's so cool. 
the poor Morelatops. Well, the Dire Wolves are going to get them first, I suppose. Alright. There's our location. Not too far away. Doesn't look like we have any any cause for concern, which is awesome. All right, Tally, sit out here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this turbine up and running. Somewhere out. Doesn't need to be too far from the house. Doesn't need to be far at all, really. Can I, why is this, oh, there we go. And there we go. It is generating power not hooked up to anything but it is generating power so that's cool uh, now yeah I think I can make well I don't know I think uh, it might just be the safer option I think I'm just gonna put the foundation in between it's gonna cost us a little more in resources but I think I think it's the best way to go for insulation I also think that with the air conditioner sort of that airlock chamber probably uh, the system probably handles it a little better I don't know alright so on the way home I am going to take a look through these mountains for metal deposits man they are so cool <laughs> Some poor animal just fell down in there. And I can see all the dragons diving for it. Ugh. Poor thing. <laughs> okay, I think there's tons of metal up on this ridge here. Oh my god. I just saw leathery wings down there. Yep, there's a dragon there. Oh boy. Oh, no metal. It's all obsidian. Oh man. I had no idea I flew so close to the. Okay, it's like really fast. I don't really want to be in its range. So let's uh let's head on down. We'll we'll investigate the next mountain range over. <laughs> uh I'm about to run out of stamina on tally here. Let's uh I was really hoping you weren't a rock elemental, and I'm glad you're not. All right, a little bit of a breather, breather for Tally, and we're back on track. Any metal up here? Uh, yes, actually. This is all metal, right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Tons of it. A little bit of stone as well, which is fantastic. Man, this thing is pretty crazy. 
before I'm unable to move. Tally, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, I kept all that stone on me. Oh, that was so... S Damn. Forgot to put that away before we came. No wonder we were so weighed down. Man, does this ever break? Yeah, there we go. Just had to ask. Oh man, this is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna have so much metal. And a fair amount of stone, too. Uh, that's just a broken hunk. The other piece was over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, hey. I didn't notice you coming up on me there. Mm, boop. Lovely. Uh, okay, there's a saber tooth down there, so I'm not even going to bother. And we're just going to continue onward. Tally's starting to get weighed down anyway. We might just want to call this uh, call this the trip, because we don't want Tally going slower than usual. <laughs> I don't know why I'm flying so low. I guess this place is pretty interesting, though. Oh, don't want to get that argon on our tail. Oh man. Oh, nice little hole for you guys, huh? Oh, that's a lot of thorny dragons. Tons of keratin, really. Hmm. We're almost back, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just get Tally to rest up here for a second. Uh, I also remembered uh, I made a trip down to the uh, cave by the red tower over there, and I remembered how much crystal is in there. Like, oh my god. Uh, so I definitely need to make a trip back there soon. Uh, my last trip there was very brief because I was dying of heat. Uh, the red sun or whatever condition that uh, happens where everything turns all reddish uh, happened and the heat was like super high and despite the fact that the game tells you go underground uh, apparently going into the cave does nothing. I was still dying of heat. Uh, the only way to survive was for me to come out of that cave and uh, dive underwater uh, at the pool at the base of the tower. And man was that rough. Uh, I was probably down to a quarter of my health left by the time I made it to the water. Okay, we're almost home. Tally might have to rest one more time. Yeah, she will. We'll park on top of these rocks here. There we go.
He's also getting hungry a little bit, eh? A little bit. Alright, so. Almost back. Got some stone. Got some metal. Doing pretty good. Oh, it's chasing a Procoptodon. Oh. oh, Procoptodon, you got stuck on a rock. I don't think you're going to last very long now. Oh, slightly off. Okay. My mistake. Oof. Yeah, you need food, huh? That's okay, girl. Eat up. Uh, can I move? I can't. Could you take half of that? There we go. And I'm just going to put this in here, turn it on, come back out. And we are going to take the rest of the metal, put it in with this. One of those is not going to cook. Okay, tons of rock. So I need 80 stone per foundation, right? I need to make 60 more foundations. I also need 40 wood per. So what I should do for a little while is focus on getting wood. At least while the metal's cooking. But that's all the time we have for, for today anyway, so that's going to have to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys. Uh, next time, let's see, what time of day is it? Next time, we're probably going to pick up from right here, and I'm going to record another episode. Uh, and we'll start working on gathering some more materials, uh, just so I can start getting a little bit of a catalog to work with. Uh, And yeah, get some stuff done. That's the plan. I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.